Okay, I don't know exactly who is uh, watching now, but who's ready to play some Rise of Nations? Uh, today, we are going to play the absolute best, most wonderful uh, country in the world. I don't know how I got this idea, but we are going to play. I need to get the. I need to make sure that the, we're going to go in before I announce what it is. The most powerful, the most economically strong nation in the entirety of Rise of Nations. Hold on one more second. There needs to be another person to join. The most powerful, the most economically strong, the most militarily strong, uh, the best and absolutely indestructible island nation of Jersey. I honestly don't know how I got this idea. Regardless, this is what's happening now. We're playing Jersey. Okay, so, I've been devising a plan because I thought up this stream about two days ago. Uh, I devised a plan within recently, so, four, and one artillery. Really, strikers right away. Oh, that sucks. Okay, yeah, sure, well... Okay, so the cool thing about Jersey, the genuinely cool thing about Jersey, I was joking before, but the genuinely cool thing about Jersey is the fact that it's not required for anyone's formables, nor do I have any formables, so I can completely play outside of needing, outside of anyone needing me to form anything. Which means, basically, I have the ability to just play and no one's going to attack me because they don't need to. Unless somebody attacks me for the sole reason that I am a player, which would kind of suck, but that doesn't, uh, that doesn't matter. My, uh... My goodness, a faction that fast. So my, my first... Oh yeah, right, that, and that, uh, that... Soundtrack is occasionally copyrighted, but I'm not sure. Okay, so uh, also my 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 uh, operation here is fairly simple. It's going to be um, the operation here is fairly simple. Oh oh, my artillery already died, but that's fine. We totally, we totally got him. Okay, um... The, uh, the thing we're going to do here is from Greater Jersey, which doesn't exist, but that basically means I'm gonna go try and buy New Jersey off the, off the Americans. And if I can, well, that's wonderful. If I cannot, that's fine, too. The first thing I need to do, though, after taking, uh, away the island directly to my west, is basically we just need to straight up rush, um, rush Sierra Leone. If you don't know what Sierra Leone is, in Rise of Nations, it is everything. It has basically titanium, which is one of the most valuable resources in the game, especially early game. And basically it has a whole bunch of stuff to like, you begin trading and things. So Sierra Leone's gonna be a very good boost to the to power if I if I can get my infantry to move there we go okay yeah I need to literally just just sure just straight up rush Sierra Leone because everyone else will trust me uh, America will Britain will France will Spain will as well so I'm 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 if this ain't a challenge within the game I don't know what is I <laughs> It's... I don't know. I'm challenging myself, but that's just fine. We're gonna do some economic improvements because I gotta get tax collection. Because this is not good. This is a deficit, and then I can just collapse. 
the cool thing about being a small island nation, though, is really all you need to bring yourself out of a debt is just delete your military if you're in a bad spot, and then it just let it, let yourself recover eventually. So I should be able to... I do need to keep enough money in the uh, enough money in the treasury, so that because there is a French player, and while France doesn't need me to form, they might see me as a threat or just be a general jerk, and that means that I would need I would really need a submarine and just I would spawn it like right here, and then just like let them just sabotage their troops into it. Diamond is uh, not yet. Anyways, it looks like Sierra Leone is not. Luckily, it looks like Sierra Leone is not being attacked yet, which is very cool. That means I'm going to get there first, hopefully. And then with Sierra Leone, we get a really nice base to go and invade, like, the Ivory Coast here. Or the Golden... Is it Gold Coast? Gold Coast. And, uh, that will give me, like, gold here and... Yeah, aluminum. Okay, just check this out. Aluminum. Um... Diamond. Chromium's over there. Iron. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, no, go into the war. No, 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 no. Hell no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. You remember that submarine? Wait, okay. Phew! Hoo! Jeez. Immediately gets a deficit before we've been landed. Well, I've had that since I invaded, uh, what's it, Guernsey? Yeah, currency. We have national fever. Hey, check that out. It's like a fifth of my entire island just joined the military. Hey, and there's my and there and there's the, the and there's the other three fourth three fifths. Uh, so yes, my troops are gonna have a little bit of. Oh, I guess they're not gonna have a little bit of attrition. Okay, so the main point is here, is that I'm going to try to attack this and then hopefully entrench before they attack me. Because that'll really give me a boost to defend against them, but that's fine, because I think I... Yeah, I still have enough. I still have enough troops to uh, defeat them. Okay, so if I turn off auto merge, and then I'm just going to attack Sierra Leone there. I had a wave of national fever for winning against Mongolia. Well, there's really not... Any... The main thing over there is that you can't not win against Mongolia. Also, I don't know what Russia's doing. Is Russia even a player? Russia is a player, and Russia should be desperately trying to prepare against China because obviously they're trying to form uh, King, uh, the, Qing, the Qing Dynasty, and they're going to need Vladivostok for that. Um, <laughs> there are. I have always said there's three things that go through an average China player's head. Uh, conquering, Ooga Booga, and, uh, Taiwan. That's, that's about, that's about it. That's about it. The... We're almost, uh, to the cap capitulation. Ireland's about to be a UK puppet, as he's just announced in the chat. All right. As long as it doesn't concern me. Honestly, I have no idea how my deficit got bigger, considering I only have less people. Oh! That's why I have a... <laughs> I have a submarine. <laughs> I forgot to delete that. Okay, so the initial plan has actually gone... Incredibly... And uh, I'm definitely going to need a little bit of oil. 
Oh wait, I already have some from Sierra Leone. That's fine. Uh, how about I start buying... Oh, nobody sells consumer goods yet. I might be able to be the first one to do that. Hey, well look, with Sierra Leone, I just uh, got out of my deficit. Jersey Empire, yeah. Really, the only thing that the U.S. can form is the North American Union. And that's perfectly fine, because once they do that, then they're really not going to have much else to do. And then I can be like, can I buy New Jersey? Because I really don't want to invade the U.S. as Jersey. I'm just going to try and buy Jersey off them. Uh, the deficit is back, unfortunately, but that's all right. Did you accidentally reason war me? Nope. Jersey. <laughs> oh no, the U.S. has just... The U.S. has seen... The U.S. has seen me. What's happening? What's up, USA? I'm going to free you when I can, Ireland. Uh, Assyria. Oh, they're going for Assyrian Empire. At least they, yeah, they know how to use tanks. Well, that's good. Oh, wow. They really went the Syria route. And then, oh, wait, no. Huh. I guess not, maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah, they did. They did, actually. They went, they went from Syria to Assyria. I would have gone Iraq to Assyria. Uh, regardless. Have a look. Okay, spelling on Liberia. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Did I already do that? Forget already. Is the UK going for France right now? Okay, we do have a. Cascadia declares independence. Oh, jeez. I didn't mean for that to happen, but that's fine. Keep going. Oh, actually, you know what? And it's fine. We're probably not going to get that much war exhaustion that early. Uh, I do need to step out of the guinea portion here, this little triangle, because that can kill my troops. But I'm going to go do jungle specialization. I'm trying Napoleonic for its title, says France. That's cool. And you know what else is cool is the fact that they don't need me for that. So I'm I'm in the clear cuz like I think it's kind of I I I think it was a forgotten island because it was definitely supposed to be part of a couple of these formables cuz I've been trying to do uh formables um for the past couple days. So this is and this is definitely core to a couple of uh, formables, but I think they've forgotten it. Regardless, it's good for me. Okay, so as soon as I get jungle specialization, that's going to make me a lot more uh, um, good to, like, take out this entire coastline here. And this is great, because this is just, like, all... This is just entirely just resource-rich. So as soon as I take out all that, then it's going to be... It's going to be perfect. We're going to... We're going to be rolling in resources, and then I can sell those resources. Uh, Ghana's going to be a little bit of interesting... Ta Wait, that's Ghana. This is Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah, uh, the Cote d'Ivoire is going to be a little bit tough to take, but as soon as I get jungle specialization, I should be able to. And hey, you can't go in debt because of a deficit if you're stealing everyone else's money while you're doing it. Is the USA forming... Oh, hey, there we go. Jungle specialization. How's military upkeep 1.3 million when I only had 130,000 troops? France is ruined. I don't know. France does that. France... I've played France and done Napoleonic and it... it, it... Basically, with Napoleonic Empire, I'm <laughs> playing Jersey, so I shouldn't really pay attention right now, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, I said go attack, right? Did I ask... 
Okay, there we go. Um, basically, with Napoleonic Empire, the first thing you have to hope for a base is that Germany does attack you. You want Germany to attack you, and you just want to put, like, forts right here. Basically, recreate the entire Alsace-Lorraine... Sorry, uh, the uh, Maginot, Maginot line, and then you just possession your troops here and just let Germany destroy and destroy their own manpower and then you invade and then that's basically how you get Napoleonic because then you have pretty much pretty much all you need to take over Europe at that point. Now the one thing that I don't need because I'm already it's already falling. Okay that's not entirely good is it? Uh, the one thing that I definitely don't need Yep, and, and and there it went. Whew, that's a big deficit. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Russia, 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 please, Russia. I, I need, I need, I need... I need your help, Russia. You are the only one selling consumer goods right now. So basically, the only problem is, as soon as I annex countries, they go into unrest, and unrest lowers your stability, and as soon as I have low stability, which I already do, this will basically start a chain of events that'll basically destroy me, and also liberate, like, any countries that I was attempting to take over anyways. So I think I needed to go a little bit slower, and this is not as slow as I was supposed to be going, because uh, my stability is dropping very quick. The only good thing is that I don't have much war exhaustion. And that's, that's very good. Um, geez, why is Russia the only one selling consumer goods? No one else is doing, no one else is even thinking about it? Uh, and they're not even responding. I think that might be AFK. This could be really, really bad. Uh, they are at AFK. They're in, oh, I'm not exactly sure if I should say. Um, <clears throat> come on, come on, Russia, Russia, send, buy the, buy the, 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 yes, the. Sell me the consumer goods, Russia. Okay. Uh, what do I need for my own civilian factories? I need fertilizer, electronics, motor parts. Okay, I think I might already have enough for... The fertilizer? Do I have phosphate? No, I don't have phosphate. It's been roughly a year now. Just say that Russia's invading the Ukraine at this point. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Um, phosphate. Oh, of course. It's all the way over there. To go find... I have to go find phosphate. And by find phosphate, I mean I have to go attack any nation with phosphate. Uh, yo, what? Oh, Mexico's got tanks now. Mexico's going for North American Union as well. That's insane. Oh, oh, well, Tunisia's got phosphate as well. Uh, I might want to try and do that. If Spain doesn't get to them first. Uh, the Finnic Union has consumer goods, but doesn't, but, like, they just bought bulk, I think. Anyone sending me economic stuff right now, I'll get to it soon. Okay. I definitely don't need soon, Russia. I definitely need now. Now, Russia, because I'm going to, like, I'm literally going to collapse. Okay. Well, Sierra Leone's fine right now. That's... That's, that's okay, good. I'm glad that Sierra Leone's fine, and I believe it's Guinea that has gold, right? Yes. Okay, so if I get gold, and then I need, what, gold and copper for electronics, is it? Gold and copper, yeah. Where's, where's the copper? Copper is nowhere to be found, and I... Wow, okay. Hey, more manpower! That's great, but I don't think it's... Yeah, it could be better. Really? Just no, just no, no, no copper. 
Oh dear. Well, I well, that I thought those were Mexican tanks. Those are American tanks. Those were those are definitely American tanks. Oh, Ukraine went offensive. Oh, they did. Do they have tanks. Is that are those Ukrainian or Russian? I'm not sure. By the way, Russia Ukraine war in R Rise Nations is a very common occurrence, so it's not it's not like I can't it's not like I can't say that because it is it is a very common thing. Uh, in this game. Okay, Sierra Leone does not have any unrest anymore. And I'm pretty sure I cord Guernsey. Uh, not yet, I guess. Integration speed would be nice, but I also need stability. Oh, my stability is going up because the unrest stopped. Okay, that's fine. But I definitely, I definitely still need Russia. Ooh, we're not 32. Ha <laughs> Uh, no, this. I just need two, like, consumer goods, and then my stability will go up. Oh, shoot, I forgot. I have to actually annex Liberia to, you know, get benefits. Okay, I just got iron. Iron and titanium? Wait, did I just get iron and titanium? Iron, titanium, yes! Okay, this is incredible because... Now that I go back to my capital, I can now make a motor factory. Oh, wait, no. Oh, that's for steel, which I still need for a motor factory, so that's fine. Steel. Uh, I need four units of iron, but considering how much iron uh, Liberia has, as soon as the unrest goes down, that should be fine. We'll be all right. And then, what? I need tungsten. Okay, where's tungsten? Tungsten is one of those rare resources, so this is going to be... Kind of tough to find. Yeah, fine. Just yeah, tungsten's a little bit tough. Ooh, jeez. Okay, where? I'm not even gonna. Okay, it's there's some in Bolivia. There's some in Uganda, but I don't really want to invade. Is that Tanzania. That's Kenya. I don't really want to invade Kenya just to get there. There's a little bit in the <laughs> southwest of the United Kingdom. Wait, are they AI? No, they're not. Wait, they were just they were just the Russian player, right? Wait. Pro okay, yeah, I just glitched. Okay, uh, I definitely need tungsten. I just don't know where I can find that. Yeah, there goes low stability again. All the big nations have tungsten, and honestly, that's not really great because I need anything but to invade a big nation right now. Okay, how big, I guess, is Kenya? Nairobi. 3.2 million. Funny if Rise Nations had a future to send volunteers to the country they send to accept. Uh, allow me to show you. Um, for example, uh, Russia... Have seven thousand uh, seven thousand uh, Jersey troops. <laughs> they do is the point I'm trying to make. Okay, I did take Monrovia, and that's oh, okay, that's one point one million. I'm definitely not going to be able to take that much, especially with Cape Town being like three point four and everything. Although I wonder if maybe I tried to take like the capital and just waited for like the tungsten areas to. Become independent because I think they have a yeah they have a core there Cape Republic. I could try and do that, ah, but still I don't know. Oh no, how much stability? Okay, stability is fine, but going down, I I can afford that. I can afford that. Okay, well my money is going up and my stability is is stable-ish. Is that Spain? No, that's Cuba. Oh, Cuba's got tank force going on. All right. Uh, okay, I'm going to do something kind of risky. You, UK. I didn't know I'm in a feature like in Hearts of Iron Four. Yeah, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. I, I, I know, I know what you meant. Um, I need to try and see if I maybe I can buy. Like southwest India, southwest uh, England, 
from the UK, which probably won't work that well. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Okay, we definitely want to attack Guinea probably as soon as like the unrest falls below. Okay, who else can I buy consumer goods from? Because this is going to be... Oh, wow! Cuba's suddenly booming in the consumer goods market. That's wonderful, because it's exactly exactly what I needed. Okay, can I... Get, will, will they buy it, though? Cornwall? Yeah, I saw Cornwall in Penzance, but I didn't say Cornwall for everything else, because that's the only place that has the, form, the, the releasable there. I mean, like, the these three cities, the entirety of... Um, really? That no one, no one, is no one selling consumer goods right? Gotta be kidding. Okay, that's fine though. I have a good steel manufacturing going, which is wonderful. I just need, for my own consumer goods, electronics, I need gold and copper. And then, okay, so what? I need phosphate, tungsten, phosphate, tungsten, and copper. Phosphate I can find in Senegal. Copper I can find. Phosphate, copper, tungsten. Yeah, okay, well, I could definitely try and find, I could definitely try and take, um, uh, Namibia, because that seems like it takes care of two of the three resources I need right now, except for tungsten, but, I mean, geez, I really need tungsten. The tungsten's the best out of all of it right now. I, I also need gold, so I'm gonna have to attack Guinea. Um, as soon as I get, oh, wait, oh, consumer goods are coming in. Cool. So now, yeah. That's gonna that's gonna start doing well soon, I think. Uh, I can use nationalism, I think. If I oh I I don't have got economic boom. Yeah, you're China. That's what normally happens. Okay, if I take Guinea and then go for and then change my specialization to arid to go to Namibia, because they they're not normally attacked unless there's a South African uh, player trying to form South African Union, but they're not. South Africa is also a regional power. So I can become a regional power, which doesn't really do much, but it does increase your stature uh, amongst the nations of the world, if I can take South Africa. Which would be kind of easy, but I need more than just my home guard to do that. Is, Gu or is the Guinean home guard going to mobilize? They're going to go anywhere? No, they, they, they don't care. They have no care in the world. When will you turn your joints on? Never. <laughs> never. I'm sorry. I just never. I will never do that. I I would like to be... I, I, I like to play alone. So I don't... I don't ever play uh, with joints on. Okay, finally the Guinean Home Guard is mobilized. So that means that they're going to attack. I'm going to take out... The uh, only troop that Guinea has, and then oh well, I could technically. This would be interesting to do. Uh, I don't have. They're not cored yet, so this would be kind of hard to do. But um, could try and make another troop there. Okay, I have aluminum. I have diamond as well. Oh, I need iron. Okay, where's my iron? Where's my iron? Oh, okay, 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 okay. I have diamond, which is great. Oh, wow, that took less long than I expected. Uh, I have diamond, which is great, because that's going to fund the mines. And the mines are going to... Regardless of unrest, I'm still doing this. A uh, more durable resource output. Yeah, there we go. So I think I should be able to start really producing some stuff now. Uh, why is Spain marching over the face of the African continent? Iberia? Okay, I'm going to try and form an alliance with Iberia, and if that doesn't work, 
Then I'm gonna join the United Alliance, and really, really, we're gonna have to go to town on Spain. Has accepted our offer of an alliance. Wonderful. I'm very glad about that. I'm gonna send in my new division to also do that. It diamonds. Minecraft players are diamonds. Yeah. Okay, well, I have a Namibian war goal now. That's good. Okay, now I have... How's my iron looking? Okay, iron is good. Iron's good. My new my new uh, division is also working fairly well. Um, I'm going to attack Guinea-Bissau to make sure that I have, like, a pretty good border. I also want to move east here. Um... Geez, I'm not sure if I want to really try for the tungsten in Uganda, or maybe just try. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do something, and it's gonna take a while to do. But I think it would be, I think it would be uh, beneficial. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take Namibia. I'm going to move my troops all the way down. I'm probably going to go, like, into Arid and then, like, attack one of these cities up here then. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and take the capital here, which shouldn't be too hard. And then I'm just going to wear South Africa's... Uh, stability down until the Cape Republic becomes independent and then I attack that instead of having to attack everything. Although if I go get some motor parts and oil hmm Mmm, mm. that is a good spot. I'm going to try and buy motor parts because I definitely don't have a deficit right now. I mean, I'm going to once I do, but still. California. Oh. Oh. Oh, Texas too! Honestly, I would go get, I would go get them, but they honestly have no value for me. <laughs> I, I would go, oh, oh noes. The entirety, I think, I think the U.S. just broke. And, mind you, if I invaded New Jersey right now, I could probably try and just, like, get them to not do anything. To just, like, allow me to take it. I'm going to, like, go and invade Guinea-Bissau with one, and then with the other, I'm going to go out he to here, and then I'm going to swing into Gabon. I'm going to grab some oil. Because I already have steel, right? I already have steel, so yeah, I already have steel. Um, I'm going to make the factory output better. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can ask for manpower. Can I have some manpower, please? My stability is just fine. My war exhaustion is a little high, but that's okay. Um, Germany is attacking the Dutch right now. Wait. Withdraw your troops, accept my terms, I'll leave you be. Is that... Oh, they're attacking the Finnick. Oh, I see. Ooh, so they're, they're basically... Huh, interesting. Okay, so I just got basically confirmation that, I, that now I can attack Gabon. That's going to be great, because I'm going to attack Gabon. Ooh, we have a winter specialization troop sitting outside of Cameroon. 
Who is this? Only players can do specialization, so I don't know who the heck that is. But I'm very interested in them right now. I'm very interested in knowing who that is. Because they could they could they could seriously mess up my plans. Even if somehow I die at the end here, Sierra Leone will still have a core. Like, it, it, when, when the last person is on this server, if, and if it's not me, if the last person is on this server, then they will forever see the core of Jernsey sitting in Sierra Leone. It's going to be incredible. Uh, currently I need a jungle specialization, but that might not be forever. Oh! Oh, they are attacking something. Okay, what? who is it? It's the Finns? <laughs> Why? Why are the Finns... Why are the Finns in Equatorial Guinea again? Okay, I definitely need to make... Oh, oh dear. The US just lost to Mexico. The US just left. The, they just they just got out of there and left. Oh. This this provides an opportunity. An eventual opportunity, at the very least. An eventual opportunity. Uh, I think if I probably... Yeah, I can probably manage two different attacks at once. I can probably go... Start training Arid. So these guys will attack Namibia and make my basing station for a South African invasion. And then these guys will attack Gabon. And I think, actually, the plan is I'm going to try and annex South Africa. And that's going to be kind of hard to do, but I'm going to try and annex South Africa... Uh, using tanks, because I have one large city, oh, two large cities now, uh, large enough for me to make tanks. And once I can do, once I can do, uh, tanks, then I can probably really take, um, South Africa fairly easy. We've kind of divided up Africa into little spheres of influence, um, sort of, I guess. Spain will eventually, I think, take, but I, this, this, this is a good... I always like to have these nations all under my control whenever I'm playing anything. Uh, Liberia, Sierra Leone, Guinea, and Guinea-Bissau. Though that it makes a really it makes a really good cut of like Africa, and it also has a these wonderful resources all in there. So it's gonna be it's gonna be really good. I'm probably try and puppet Cabo Verde for no reason other than puppeting Cabo Verde, but you know what? Uh, we can have fun later. Okay, we have arid specialization now. Uh, can I swap to? I cannot. And my consumer goods ears are still, 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 uh, still going down. That's not really great, is it? Uh, I think what I should do though, if I want more troops, I'm gonna have to. Select, uh, recruit provider. Liberia, select, recruit, develop. And then the two nations up here.
So this is the jungle one, so this is the one I'm going to be sending to Gabe on. And then the other one... The other one... Uh, I will be sending to Namibia because they have an air and specialization. And holy crap! Iberia really just sent mast attacks into... Uh, oh... That's kind of concerning that Mexico knew instantly where I was. Like, not a lot of people- or, and Iberia, technically, but Iberia knows where I am because they're in Africa. Uh, but still. I don't think Mexico has been watching me, but that kind of in, that kind of implies that they have been watching me, which is very concerning. I mean, I guess you're gonna watch a uh, rising. Okay, why? Why is Finn- <laughs> I still don't get it. Why is Finland in Equatorial Guinea? I I don't remember a formable with, with that. I mean, I, I assume it's for a formable, but I don't remember a formable that requires Finland to have Equatorial Guinea. Oh, Finland versus the British? Oh, is Britain? Britain's AI! Okay, yes, Britain's AI. I'm taking the- I'm taking the tungsten. I am taking the tungsten. I'm not gonna even have to invade South Africa. Oh, this is incredible. This is incredible. This is incredible. This is incredible. 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 Absolutely incredible. One, two, three, four, five. I or all I have to do is take Cornwall and just take Southwest the Southwest and I'm still gonna invade Namibia because they have like they don't just work as a basing operation, they still work as, as other things. As in like they have really good resources for this. Okay, okay, I just need Gabon to like attack me and then I can attack Gabon and then I Ooh. Uh, Norway. Norway. Yes, Norway's going to be attacking, um... Wait, fi Finland's going to be attacking Norway in Britain for a while, I think. Until... But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to be attacking... Britain from the south. If I can. Just me, or is like my infantry not building? My infantry's not building. It's kind of weird. That's definitely weird. I mean, I need I need that infantry to build. I need I need to invade UK right now. British Empire is easy. It kind of is. It's just. Tree's finally building. Cool. Uh, yeah, the first thing I'm doing is attacking uh, just just southwest England. Just southwest England. Not gonna do anything else. Brilliant researcher. Okay, Namibia. Namibia is next on our attacking list. Namibia is next, and then I think. Is it Botswana that has all the resources, or is it, like, Zimbabwe that has all the resources? <coughs> Aluminum, oil, fertilizer, steel, phosphate. Uh, diamonds. There's diamonds in Zimbabwe. Interesting. Oh, chromium. Chromium is interesting. I could try and take, instead of taking, like, South Africa, I could, uh, maybe I could try to, like, Cut through Botswana and then get into Zimbabwe that way. Be interesting, but I'm not sure if I still want to do that. I can actually afford to make 100,000 troops without falling into a deficit. That's exciting. Yo, more manpower. Oh, that's worth it. Great. Kinda need to make my own consumer goods, but it's still fine.
about to be taken out of power. Please forgive me. Oh no, what's going on here? Cuba! Oh, oh dear. U.S. Oh, they just left. Crap. I was about to say, U.S., please seed me north of New Jersey before you leave. Oh, wait, I, they wouldn't have been able to anyways. I'm at war. Jersey and troops are attacking the mainland. The homeland. The homeland, guys. Of of the U.K. They're, they will fall now. Oh, France is AI as well. Maybe I should take try, try and take France as well. The northwest coast of France or something. That would be kind of, it would be kind of interesting to do that. That's a regional power. Try and take, because I don't think France has any troops right now. <coughs> That'd be kind of cool to do, actually. I don't think there's any UK troops to stop me. So, oh, oh, yep. Oh, here come, here come the, uh, the Finnick tanks. Gonna see if I can form an alliance with them. Oh, is Gavon dead? Oh, it is. They are, huh? Where were you when you heard Gabon dead? Warsaw's down. Now fight. Oh, why is China in Poland right now? Why is China? Why? Why? Why is China? But why is China in Poland? Okay, Danzig is German again, I guess. Jersey. There are two E's in my name, but okay. Yes. Yeah. There you go. There you go. You said it right this time. Yeah. You're trying to split France. Uh, I'm trying to split UK. I, I can do. I can. I can. I'll take the north, so what? We divide it like this. Which would be great, by the way. I'm gonna see how much I can, like, afford to take before, like, the Nordic... But before, like, the Nordics be... be uh, start, 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 start to dislike me. You know what? Maybe I should just take the south for now instead of going right up to Wales. I'm gonna see if maybe I can just take the south and make like an end, like a pseudo Angevin kingdom, if you will. On. I. North Korea just declared independence from Japan. How interesting. power yet? I'm still a minor power. Ranking 33 out of the nations of the world, but still minor. That sort of sucks, actually. I mean, even if I just had London, I think if I just had London, I would be regional instantly. But I, I don't want to aim for regional. I want to aim for major. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I want to aim. I want to aim for major power. And what are the major powers of the world right now? Like what? Germany? No. Okay. Who's ranking major right now? Okay. China, India, and Russia are ma are ma ranking major right now, which makes sense. But Russia's not even that big. Oh, yo! They're attacking France. Cool. 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 One, two.
course, we're going to invade northwest France, same as we invaded southwest England. I still don't know why my troops won't freaking move. They, yeah, they can understand attack London, but not attack Bristol. Keep going. Keep going. Keep, keep moving. There you go. Cuba has declared war on the United States. <laughs> oh, dear. I think Cuba might end up being a major power before I do. Let's do South End on Sea as well. Whoa, 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 what the heck? Oh, yeah, fin Finnick. The Finnick Union. Wait, what? What? I don't... Can't I peace with the Finnick Union? Oh, the Pe Finnick Union is AI. <laughs> Okay, they left. Lol, that's lol. I don't even... Eh. One. Don't exactly know who's watching, but hi. I see you. Let me see if I can take London with 80,000 troops. Considering the... Place is nine million people. I don't think I'm probably I'm probably not going to be able to. But then again, you know, I, gu I guess you never know. If you dream, if you dream, who knows what cities you're going to take over relentlessly? Oh dear. I kind of think I'm not going to be taking London anytime soon. I mean, that is draining. That is draining my manpower. Can I have more manpower, please? Moscow Syndicate? Oh, dears. Oh, actually, you know what? I might end up taking uh, London by just, like, a hair. That'd be interesting. Brilliant researcher lost. Okay, fine, fine. 9 million people in London, 11 million in Paris. That would be harder to take. Wow. You need motorized divisions is too. Yeah, uh you can do a couple of The Rise of Nations burnout already got back to me. I'm gonna go wait, 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 wait. Wait, Cuba. Can you wait for me to finish these wars and then seed me New Jersey? <laughs> Can you wait for me to finish the wars and then seed me New New Jersey? Yeah, cause I I I want I want I want New I want New Jersey. I go send my other troops across the channel help out. Namibia. Yeah, I guess I can go attack fin uh, the Finnic Union as well. Ooh, yes, I guess I really can attack the Finnic Union as well, huh? Oh, okay, we took London, guys. London has- London fell. Jersey- Jersey troops have just taken London. I'm fairly certain I am invincible. What? 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 The Iberian Union? Oh, no! No, 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 no! No, 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 no. China, 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 just China, just chill. China, just chill. <laughs> oh, jeez. China's main... China's troop 
attack just got decimated. I'm pretty sure that that war. Oh, jeez, they lost like two hundred thousand troops, and now they're turning towards Tunisia. Come on, come on, Spain, Spain, move your Spain, move your submarines before they get too. Move your submarines before they get too close, Spain, Spain, Spain. No, you had to catch them while they were at. You didn't kill all. No, you moved them too late. I'm also in a very bad spot right now. I don't. Yeah, China. Trying to accept the peace. Wh why? Why would Russia? No, just Russia. No, just Germany. No. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! It all comes crashing down now. Is this? Is this genuinely? I'm going to make noise while I try and build a submarine. I, dude, Russia. Guys, just accept the peace. There's literally no reason. There's no reason to keep fighting. I don't even know why they do that. Oh, and China's troop spamming the heck out of that. R Jersey, we're only at war with you because of Iberian Union. Y exactly. We'll end when we take them. Yeah, but... <laughs> but Germany won't, won't they? Then white peace me. Then white peace me. <laughs> We're only at war with you because of the Iberian Union. Yes, I understand that, but you're not... But, like, if you weren't planning to attack me, then you could just wipe peace. There we go! Hey, they actually, they're actually semi-cool. Isn't that funny? Alright. Wonderful. Now... Now I can continue going back to, uh, the UK. Because, <laughs> honestly, Iberia's cool, but, um... I honestly don't care. <laughs> I feel bad to saying that, but I, I, I don't. I, I just don't. I don't care about, you know, Iber Iberia. I've been, I'm kind of, I feel bad for Iberia, but I just, I'm not interested in it right now. Oh, yo, Northumbria is independent. Cool, less spots for me to attack them. Wait, will I go in? Wait, don't accept me to the faction. Wait, don't. Wait, don't accept my faction request, Russia. Don't. Don't accept my faction request. No! <laughs> Darn it! Now I gotta defend against Iberia. I was going to join them as in because I just wanted to join the, the powerful ones, but now I've gotta defend against Iberia. This sucks. <laughs> Germany, uh, Jersey, I need help. I'm not, I did not, I, I literally don't. I literally don't want to attack Iberia. I didn't mean to even join the war. I wanted to join the faction, not the war, but I forgot that it auto-joins the war. Okay, so if I do submarine... If I do a submarine... Um, and what do they mean Iberia is attacking? them there if you if it, look Germany just entrench and let them try to wait what why is France why did France get their truce back gotta be kidding <laughs> go for Madrid I I'm not doing anything I'm literally I'm not I'm not doing anything 
the only type of skirmishes I'm gonna have are probably like you know what not even any skirmishes I'm not even gonna have any skirmishes oh oh there's one there's one last there's one last Nibian city but I'm assuming it might just end, end up independent anyways Why are y'all attacking Iberia anyways? Why not just white peace? Ain't no way 5v1. Yeah. <laughs> For real, I've been cool all game. I mean, they really have too. I mean, they're not even attacking me despite the fact that I am at war with them on accident. I think that I think that should be enough to I think the the submarine should be enough to defend me for for now. Wait, Iberia got to Germany? Yeah, they've been in Germany for like a month now. Oh wow, and they really didn't China really didn't manage to even take Madrid. You know, Iberia is really outplaying them, and I thought they were just doing mass attacks. I think I can trust Iberia, though, not to attack me. Hopefully that's not famous last words there. I really don't like having these Iberian troops on my land. I'm... Our attack's failing. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. No kidding, your attack's failing. Am I a regional power yet? I'm still a minor power? How am I still a minor power? I have such a good... I have such a good economy and everything as well. Uh, St. Peterport. Okay. Buildings... I think it can make fertilizer, right? Uh, oh, I, well, I guess I only have a little bit of phosphate. Where's the phosphate that I have? Oh, right, it's in Namibia. And I just annexed that. Actually, I'm the one that declared. Well, yeah. Just took Dublin as well. We're really, we're really expanding quite well, honestly. Oh no, Iberia, Iberia, no, 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 Iberia, Iberia, stop attacking me. Iberia, bro, bro, Iberia. Didn't you, didn't we say we, didn't you say we were friends or something?
There's a fight back. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't want to fight back. Oh, they almost took my capital. You see? I, I, Iberia is cool. Iberia is cool. Iberia is really cool. And honestly, Iberia, the, the, yeah, they did, and they disbanded. Get in on the blood. No. I did not want, <laughs> want to be in this war. No. I did not want to be in this war. Let, let alone, I wanted to be in the faction, not the war. So, Jersey's cool. Yeah, yes I am, you see? Honestly, I probably shouldn't have joined the faction either. You two are going to be in a forever war, just white peace. Why would we declare war on someone just to white peace? Because it's going to be... Also, aren't wars supposed to be long? I get the feeling China, the China player has no idea what a war actually is. Because honestly, no. They're not. They're not supposed to be long. Every, every intention, the intention is always to not make it long. Actually, wars boost my economy? Hey, Iberia, you're attacking my colony in Gabon. Oh, and so is their troop there, too. Honestly, I think once this war, once all the war is done, I'm pretty sure it... Am I still at war with France? I'm still at war with France, aren't I? I am still at war with France. Why is that? Whole faction against me, I'm still winning. Yeah. You were getting too big and it had to end. Look at yourself then, Germany and Russia. It might be part of a faction, but I can criticize them all I want. I'm gonna build artillery, though, on the island. See if I can maybe bomb some troops. Uh, quote-unquote for the faction, but to make mainly to make sure that I don't get attacked again on accident. Of course, the UK AI is just like, no. Honestly, just waiting for the U to for Scotland to break apart from the UK so I can go attack Northumbria and become just awesome. I will be awesome. Support, support firepower. And technically, I guess support range as well.
We can't exile during a war. Wow. Crap. Oh. Are you sure? <laughs> oh, never mind. I think this is the phosphate, right? I'm gonna go mine it. Only taking a quarter of their land. Yes, that's why you should white peace. That's why you should white peace, China. No. Yeah, but you're losing. Not only are you losing. China, not only are you losing, but, uh, China, you're not only losing, but y you, you, you're not gaining anything out of this war. There's no reason. There's absolutely no reason. I'm gaining a lot, personally. I'm gaining a lot. And I honest, honestly, I think I just did... I just took it I just took out some of the Iberian troops. Spain has a brain! Oh crap! Yeah, Spain has had a brain. Unfortunately, the faction I apparently joined does not. Iberia oh sep Separatists of Iberia Separatists of Mauritania in Iberia. Oh did they get funded of uh did they get rebel funded? Ooh, this could be interesting. Fund rebels. Uh, might fund rebels backwards at China. Might not work though. Yeah, I don't think. I think it costs more to do that. Equatorial Guinea declares independence. Well, that's cool. I'm gonna go take them out. Equatorial Guinea, instantly, instant, instant, right. You're going right back under an external power's oppression. Just instant. What about aircraft parts? Do you need motor parts for that, right? So I don't think I'm going to be able to do that, but... I could try and help them out with that. Oh, I guess we, I guess we de technically don't. Chromium, though. Oh, you're cool, yeah. Let me check that out. Oh, I own the Britain. Where'd my other division go, by the way? I don't think I, st I think I lost one of my divisions somehow. Yo! Oh dear, Assyria just attacked from the side with their tanks, and I think, I think that's the end of the war for Spain. I might actually try and get into this to this a little bit late and see if I can try and get like oh yeah okay now I'll now I'll try and attack them or something now that Spain's left yeah sure okay now I'll attack them okay Why are we attacking Spain? Exactly. Where's the chromium?
Iberia could have taken Africa and, le and led to world domination. Hmm. Huh. Am I am I a regional power yet? Am I twentieth? Twentieth minor power ranking twenty two. You gotta be kidding. Only the top twenty end up with regional power status, and I will be a regional power as soon as I end. I'm gonna end stream as soon as I'm regional. Because becoming a regional power as Jer as J Jersey, I think honestly, becoming a Becoming a major power as Jersey would have been a real challenge, but even becoming a regional power as Jersey is tough. Water supply with tungsten. Wait, where do I own that has a factory? Oh. There. And where are my tungsten supplies? Oh, wait, I know where my tungsten supplies are. Yep. Mines and... Mines. Unrest is too high. Never mind. Civil unrest in the UK? Where? Why? Why the civil unrest? I mean, I just, I just, I just got out of there. I just got out of civil unrest. Why, why are we doing it again? Oh, probably because I have a very low amount of consumer goods that I can even go for right now. Oh, well, there's a little bit of collapse to the Iberian Union. Germany's facing a little bit of a collapse too, huh? Oh dear. Wallonia has declared independence from Germany. Oh. Southern Belgium. Oh, Denmark declared independence from Germany as well. That's... This is not good. Not good for Germany or Iberia. Wave of national fever. Except I'm I'm profiting. I'm profiting, but I don't think any, anyone else is.
Yo, we're regional power, guys. Not me, check your stability. I'm perfectly fine with the stability. I mean, I'm 45, which is bad, but I mean, it's not like horrible. Oh, somehow I own Kane now in France. I don't know how that happened at, at all, but <laughs> whatever, I guess. Germany's really collapsing, huh? They just took back uh, Wallonia, but um, they're really having some trouble. Oh, there's Romandi. Interesting. Is that another place that, oh geez, the Netherlands as well uh, declared war, uh, declared uh, independence from Germany. Germany's really having some trouble, although they're declaring war right against, right immediately right against anything that goes against them. I just, we're really having some trouble. Okay, Equatorial Guinea's done as well.
I think our empire is honestly really good. I think our empire is really just on honestly. I think we. I think. I think we did a really, really good job with this. Watch trying to make a mistake here and absolutely liberate everything that the that we just took from Iberia. Just wait. Call on it now. Can. Yeah, because Russia's Russia's faction leader, so Yeah, watch 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 just watch just watch Russia mess up this peace treaty here right before we end the stream. Watch the mess of the peace treaty. I, 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 I'm calling it now. I forgot I started it. Oh wow, they didn't mess it up. That's insane. Normally, normally faction leaders mess it up really, really bad. Regardless, though. That's cool. Oh jeez, I need, like, I need a lot of consumer goods. Oh no. I need so many consumer goods or else I'm gonna fall apart. Uh, motor parts, fertilizer, and electronics. Electronics. Yeah, I have enough. I definitely have enough for those. Expand mining operations, which should allow me to get enough tungsten for a little bit of something, anyways. Ooh, Assyrian Empire. Holy, this flag is sick. 
Yeah, the Assyrian Empire's flag is sick, isn't it? <laughs> wow. Kind of reminds me of the Burgundy flag. Only thing, honestly, I kind of wanted to take New Jersey because I'm Jersey, so Jersey takes New Jersey. But honestly, I don't feel like invading the U the remainder of the U.S. and having to march all the way to, like, what is this? I don't feel like having to march all the way to Missoula and, like, Montana to take New Jersey. So... I think, honestly, I kind of want to unite, like, that as well, but... I think we're going to take some screenshots, guys, and honestly... I think I'm going to end the stream. I thought this was going to be a better, a much better uh, idea than it kind of ended up being. Uh, regardless, uh, if any of you are watching, I really hope you liked the stream. I I honestly think it was kind of boring. I thought it was going to be a lot better uh, than what it was. Because it was honestly, I, ha I thought I had a really good idea. And then I just, normally in Rise Nations rounds, um, things don't go this well. Especially for a small nation like Jersey. Uh, you're attacked either by France or by the UK or by Ireland or even by Germany or anything but somehow Somehow everything went well for me and honestly well, that's really cool <laughs> whilst that's really cool it ended up having no flavor because Whilst it whilst everything went well that also meant that nothing interesting happened I took the nations that I said I wanted to take and it all went okay so while that's great uh, I think it got a little bit boring here, so I'm going to end the stream, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed um, regardless. Uh, thank you guys for watching, uh, especially uh, over on uh, this Communicate VOD, because this will be Communicate VOD as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, I will see you guys uh, later. Goodbye.